Thank you for spending some time, uh, and thank you for giving me such a beautiful welcome. But also more importantly, thank you for what you guys are doing here. I am absolutely blown away by what I'm seeing here today. I'm blown away by your passion, by your creativity, by your contribution. And it's interesting because as I get a chance to walk around, um, I know that I was asked to come and speak a little bit about overcoming adversity. But the truth is, for so many, of in the, so many of you in this room, you know what that is. Because you're doing it every day. You know what it is to, to stand up and when the winds are blowing a little bit harder to be able to stick your chest out a little bit further. And to be able to know that the success that you all are finding, the success that you all are seeing, the success that you all are achieving is hard work. That's why you're here. That's why you're sitting in these seats. I guess the thing I want to touch base on briefly today is not just necessarily on that. It's what's going to be expected of you next. Because the truth is, I'm standing in a room of people who are achieving. I'm staying in a room full of people who understand what it means to wake up every day and push a little bit harder today than what you pushed yesterday. And who are watching success in front of you. The big question that then comes and gets presented to you right now is as you all are continuing to meet your success, as you're continuing to meet your opportunities, as you're continuing to meet the things that you've worked hard for, what is it going to mean to the people who, are, who aren't necessarily in this room now? What's it going to mean to the people to, for many of you, it's friends or family members, what's it going to mean to the people who are on the outside? And how is your success going to mean more to more people than just yourself? Because that's the most basic fundamental question at some point that we have to ask and some point that we have to answer. Whether you're focusing on veterinary services, whether you're focusing on welding, whether you, regardless of where you're going to go with your profession, regardless of where you're, where you're going to go with your education, the truth is all that stuff at some point is not going to matter. People will stop asking that. That question of what was your focus while you were here is a question that will mean everything while you were here, but the moment that you walk out and walk off of campus, that question will stop being asked. That the most important question isn't necessarily what is your focus, the most important question is who are you fighting for? Who's going to matter to you? Because the truth is your success cannot simply be met with a personal accomplishment. Your success now must be met with the question of what's next and who is going to matter. What happened to me was eventually I found myself surrounded by people that helped me to understand that the world was bigger than what was just directly in front of me or just what was directly presented to me. I found myself surrounded by people who helped me to believe that we actually lived in a brighter world than I had a place in it. People who helped me to understand that there was never going to be any accidents of my birth, not my family's income level, not the fact that I was black, not the fact that I'm from Baltimore or the Bronx, not the fact that I was fatherless that was ever going to define me or that was ever going to limit me, nor anything that I should ever be ashamed of. And so in essence, what they did was they taught me what it meant to be free. The beauty of where y'all are at right now, the beauty of the seats that you're sitting in, the beauty of the opportunities around you that are in front of you right now is that you actually have a chance to experience freedom. You actually have a chance to truly think critically about the type of things that you want to do with your life and then know you actually have a pathway to get it done. There's an extraordinary power in that, and there's a real freedom in that. In the idea that the things that you are doing now 
can and will benefit you, and not only can and ben will benefit you, but will benefit generations that you have not even met yet. That there are generations who will benefit from the work that you're putting in right now. There's a freedom in that. The thing that we fundamentally ask, though, is your success can't just be about your success. That your accomplishment can't just be about your accomplishment. That the things that you do and the things that you accomplish and the things that you see and the things you experience, if you're the only one that benefits from it, then what's the point? That we've got a whole collection of people who are not sitting in these seats, who do not have the opportunities that you have in front of you. Who are looking for and need a champion, and they're asking, and the question becomes, will you be that as well? You're here because you've worked amazingly hard. You're here because you've sacrificed a great deal. You're here because you are actively thinking about the future and actively thinking about your place in it. All we're simply saying is that can't be enough. And how you think about how your hard work and your success will then translate into thinking about all of the others in your life is going to matter deeply when it's time for you to leave this school, whether it's time for you to leave your job, whether it's time for you to leave your community, or when it's time for you to leave this planet. Make sure that it mattered that you were ever even here. Make sure that it mattered that you were ever even here, because none of us are promised anything. We're not promised more days, more weeks, more years. You know, no, no one's ever tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, Wes, you have 6,515 days left, so pace yourself. And nobody ever will, and the truth is I'm actually good with that. So the only thing that I know is that while we're here, let's actually do something with it. While we're here, let's push. While we're here, let's learn. While we're here, let's fight. While, while we're here, let's love. But let's actually do something with it. You're where you are. Each and every one of us are where we are because someone saw us there first. You are fulfilling the greatest hopes and dreams of somebody who saw this in you before you even saw it in yourself. So the only thing that we all fundamentally ask is as you're going through your own process and as you're achieving your own success, see the same thing in someone else. Work on behalf of somebody else. Create these type of opportunities for somebody else because now more than ever, we truly need it. Champions of every voice who are willing to fight for the other. I'm honored to be here. I'm thankful for the chance to learn from all of you. And I'm thankful for the example that you're setting for not just me, but for everyone else to follow. Bless y'all for what you do, and thank you so much. Thank you.